Cheers. Ready, guys? Cheers. Cheers. To you, to the wonderful work you're doing. Thank you. And Thank you. To the Salvation Army. Hey. Ah. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. Now to the taste in me. You scared? Mm -hmm. May you taste this of the same with us? <laughs> Worried that she's not missing yes. it. No, I, I trust her. These totally. are not the Egyptian times or the Middle Ages when you had to have this. <laughs> How is it? Very good. It's good. Mm. Yeah, you it's sure? Or oh, you want to mm -hmm. just, well, because of the dates. The dates. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why you put in the lime juice so that the dates okay. will at least still not be overwhelmed. Right, right, right. You know, and the Very almonds, good. if you've got some almonds with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the crunch mm. too. I need a fork, John. Mm. Oh, no, sorry. It is yours. I took, I took, I took your fork. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. This is very, very good. Mm -hmm. But the almonds and the dates and the coriander mm -hmm. add to the seasonings. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Mm -hmm. It works mm -hmm. out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. You happy with it? Mm -hmm. This is very good. Mm -hmm. Very happy. Very tasty. Come on. I'm breaking my diet with your fried rice. <laughs> I love the color too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's a lovely rice here. Mm -hmm. There's egg oh, in it. There's an omelet in here, right? Mm -hmm. Mmm. 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 Very nice. Very good combination. Mm -hmm. It's a little Moorish. <laughs> Not Moroccan. <laughs> Moorish. It's very this good though. Great. Hey guys, it's judgment time and we are here once again at Lanterns by Chef John Hazard at the beautiful Bougainvillea Beach Resort. You have got to come here and try the breakfast, try the lunch, try the dinner, just come and eat. Have a great time at Bougainvillea, have a great time in Lanterns. Now, we are going to be judging Mia Motley. Ooh, wow. mm. I, I'm honored. Big task. <laughs> yeah. Big task. And I was honored to cook with Mia as well too because it was it, a surprise to see her. Yeah, and it's not so often you get a chance to cook with a politician. Often? Never. I never do it, really. I've never <laughs> done it before. Exactly. So I mean, for me, that's, oh, I, generally people like me and all these politicians, really, I just see them in the paper. Exactly. But or you I, maybe serve them in your restaurant. Well, I, I hope they will come here a bit more often. <laughs> <laughs> but, but normally I don't get a chance to really feel these people. You I know. know. How, how I can touch exactly. Them, feel you. Exactly. So it's good to actually feel me. Uh, exactly. And cook with me as exactly. well. Exactly. We had a great, great time. A great time cooking. Yeah, she was fun. She was fun. Now Mia, she made a Moroccan chicken. Let's talk about originality. Mia did Moroccan chicken. I have never had Moroccan chicken. Yeah, well, I've actually cooked with Moroccan spices and so before mm -hmm. in the past, and you know, cinnamon and these different things. Mm -hmm. But I've never really had a Moroccan chicken, and I thought it was absolutely incredible. It was great. It I was great. am a big fan of sweet and savory together. Yeah, yeah. And the dates in her Moroccan chicken made it sweet yes. and it complemented, you know, with the savory aspect of the chicken. It was so, so good. Really good. And I liked as well, too, my favorite herb is cilantro. Tell everybody that. It's that's, cilantro. That's so true. And I really love how she. The shadow, on, the shadow Benny. The shadow Benny, how she sprinkled it on top afterwards. Mm -hmm. And that really gave a fantastic flavor. But she she shocked me though, because I mean, she really, really knew what she was doing. I mean, it's not that I didn't think she could cook. Yeah. I just didn't think she could do it that well. You really? know what I mean? Really? So. But you know, she sells, you know, she's a put, she's a putting the sauce she lady. Said you know. she, sells put, she said that. She sells putting the sauce on salads. She said she grows her own vegetables as well. Yeah. So for originality. And don't forget as well that Mia said as well to when she was growing up, her dad never used oh, to yeah, give many right. chains, so that's she had right. it on pretty much cooking so and so. Things. That's right. I, I think uh, until she got an order of like a hundred something doll puris kids, and, <laughs> and then that was the end of her cooking career. <laughs> I remember that. So let's hear what she got on these points. Yeah, well, I, I got to be fair, to, with, with all fairness to, to Mia, mm -hmm. and, and, and um, I have to give her full points for originality. It's 10 points out of Completely 10. Completely original. It was, it was very, In my good. books, I mean, I've never had it, and it was so great. So, speaking of it being great, let's talk about the taste. Because, I, I mean, I'm just thinking about this meal again and again and again. Yeah, Charlene, it tasted really nice. We served it with the stir-fry rice. That's right. Mm -hmm. But I never want to talk with the stir-fry rice. We know that tasted good. <laughs> he did it. <laughs> He's going to say that. But I'll endorse it. It was really good. It was really good. But, but, but uh, the chicken, the though. Chicken. Oh, I tell you. Mm -mm. Chicken was to die for. It was so good. It was good. Mia, you did a fantastic job. Surprised me for sure. Yeah, I would have to say, Charlene, again, four points. Four points? 20 out of 20 for 20 out of 20 for taste, for taste. For four taste. points for originality. Let's speak about presentation now, John. Well, you know, one of the things I want to say to Charlene and to the audience as well, to that Mia said to me as well, to Journey Shore, or when we were finishing the show, mm -hmm. she made a rose. She made a rose oh, yeah, out of a that's tomato. Right. 
and she had never made a rose before because a rose is not an easy That's thing true. to make from a tomato. Uh -huh. But one, that was her first time making it her and she made try. it on public TV in front of you guys. And one of the things that she said to me is that she made that to show young people that you can do anything you want to do in this life. Exactly, and don't be afraid. Try. And don't be afraid. That's what she said to me. Don't be you embarrassed. You can do anything you want to do in this world. Anything positive. Anything positive. Mm -hmm. And not be afraid and just that's try it right. for the first time. And that's what she did. She made a rose and she's very meticulous and making sure everything is presented well yeah. and making sure she had the... And you know, we had actually run out of limes. Okay. And Mia was very upset because she wanted to taste at To be to, perfect. That's to be right. perfect. So I would have to say in terms of her presentation, which was out of 15 points, I would give her 14 points for the presentation. 14, that's right. So in a terms of assistance. Well, you know, Mia was also, you know, in terms of her assistance, I, I really wanted her to help me a bit more in the kitchen. Right. But I know that she was doing this for her Salvation Army. That's who she's supporting. Right. She was completely focused on what she was doing so she can make sure that your dish was perfect so she could win. Yeah. So right. she had all her energies and everything tied up in this particular dish, which I understand. And I had one, I for one had burnt her almonds, you know. Oh, yeah, that's Initially, right. I burnt those almonds in the oven. <laughs> So she really didn't want to have the other almonds burned, so she's kind of, her attention was also directed towards the oven as well, too. Oh, okay. So I would think out of assistance, I would give Mia, in all fairness, out of five points. Yeah. I would give Mia four points yeah, for because, her assistance. Because you kind of took a point from her, yeah, with those almonds. Yeah, I, <laughs> Mia, I'm sorry. <laughs> so let's hear her total score. It's going to uh, be great, I know that for sure. Out of sure. a total of 50 points, Mia, you got 48 points. 48 out of, out of 50. Yeah, well done. Very, very good. Excellent. That's the best Excellent. score so far. That's the best score so far. Well now, done. Mia is playing for the Salvation Army and she needs your help. As big as the score she's got here, she still needs your help. So text MIA Mia to short code 2216 and help Mia help the Salvation Army. Hi, my name is Nicholas Small and I love economics. Okay, I'm Nicholas Small, and he won the Name the Drink prize. Now, here is part of your prize. You won Julian's fruit cocktail. I know your little drink mixer, so you can use this. Congratulations. And in here, are two vouchers. Two. So one for you and one for your brother, maybe? Maybe, okay. <laughs> two vouchers from Chicken Boy, right? So you guys can enjoy this. I want to present you with this good school as well. Congratulations. And I can see you love your hats as well. You're, you're the hat specialist. Okay, great. Congratulations to you. We have had a great time here at Economics, people. We have. This chicken has been awesome. We've had a great time here with Mia Motley, mm -hmm. and we want you to stay tuned next time to find out who's our next celebrity guest. Thanks for watching Economics, and remember, I want you to say this with me: Chicken rules, chicken is king. Okay? Remember, chicken, chicken rules, rules chicken, chicken is, is king. king. We gotta chicken say it again. Rules, chicken is, is, is king. king. One more time. One more time. Chicken. Chicken, chicken rules. rules. Chicken is king! <laughs> <laughs> See you later, guys. Next time, everyone. God Take bless. Care. God bless you. Mm.